Hello. Before I do this introduction to this video, I want to tell you here and now that by the end of this video, if you stick with it, you will see a potato reveal. Okay, if you're a follower of mine, you'll know that I like to grow vegetables in recycled cut flower water buckets, small 10 inch plastic water buckets. You'll also know that this year I'm giving small fibre bags a go. Yeah, I'm trying to grow vegetables in buckets and bags. In fact, I've put a series together which is best grow vegetables in buckets or bags. Grow vegetables in buckets or bags which is best. And basically what I'm doing is if I'm growing garlic in a bucket I'm growing it in a bag. If I'm growing beetroot in a bucket I'm growing it in a bag. If I'm growing onions in a bucket I'm growing them in a bag. If I'm growing leeks in a bucket I'm growing them in a bag. The idea being at the end of the growing season um, we'll harvest the bucket and the bag at the same time and we'll try and determine which is best bucket or bag. Now I've already got um, two of these trials over the line. At the first one across the line was garlic. I'm going to cut you to some screenshots from a video that I shot a few weeks ago uh, of the garlic that I harvested from a bucket and from a bag and then I asked you which did you think was best bucket or bag uh, and I think the majority thought that it was a draw. I thought it was a draw. The majority of correspondents thought it was a draw. Have a look at this. Okay, so that was the garlic. What do you think? A draw? It looked like a draw. I mean, let's face it, unless there is a major difference one between the other, it's a draw, isn't it? If, for one to be better than the other, I think it needs to be significantly better. And neither was significantly better uh, in that little trial. And since then, I've taken a bucket and a bag of beetroot and again I think we had an honourable draw on our hands. Check this out. Okay, so that was the beetroot. Now I did weigh the beetroot and, and I think the bucket might have been slightly heavier than the bag but there wasn't a great deal in it and there certainly wasn't enough in it for me to say um, growing beetroot in a bucket is better than growing it in a bag or vice versa. It was, it was a close run thing and I think most of you felt that was a draw and so did I. Now then, Courgettes and cucumbers, cukes and zooks. We're growing these in buckets and bags. These are a, a long season vegetable, if you like, in that I'll be harvesting quite a few of these, fingers crossed, over the year, so I need to keep account. This isn't just turn a bucket out and you have a result. Um, and at the moment, the courgette growing in the bag has delivered five courgettes and the courgette growing in the bucket has delivered five courgettes. Five courgettes each. So that's a draw so far but it can go either way. Now the cucumbers on the other hand, <laughs> these guys 
One cucumber is prolific and the other one's dragging its heels. And it's the cucumber in the bucket. Um, just check out this little bit of video. So that was three cucumbers taken and three pebbles dropped in the pebbleometer. And the cucumbers in the bucket are leaving the bag six to one. The bag's got an awful lot to do to catch up, hasn't it? But we'll run it till the end of the season and then we'll see if one's better than the other, won't we? Bags or buckets. Right, that's the introduction done um, in terms of what I'm doing with respect to this trial. Um, but we're going outside now, we're ready to harvest some potatoes. The potato we're going to harvest is a potato called Piccolo Star. There's one potato growing in a bucket and one potato growing in a bag. They've been in there about four months and got to be ready by now. And because I knew I was going to be shooting this video and harvesting those potatoes, I've stood them out and not watered them. Um, They've been exposed to the sun, so they've dried out over the last three or four days. So when I turn these out, the bucket and the bag are probably going to be look quite dry. Now, normally you start harvesting potatoes in soil that dry, you get lots of small ones. Just basically because you haven't watered enough. Or you get lots of small ones when you turn them out early. Um, but the bucket and the bag wouldn't normally be this dry. They're this dry because I've never watered them for three or four days and they're burning the sun. Okay, wonder if we'll get a result. Wonder if one's better than the other. It's only one way to find out, isn't it? There is only one way to find out. Let's go and harvest those potatoes.
Well, I think this calls for a way in. Let me just see if I can get the potatoes from the bucket at one end of the barrow and the potatoes from the bag at the other end. And then I think we'll actually do a way in. What do you think? What do you think? Yep, yeah, the bag has definitely produced some bigger potatoes. Um, but there's quality in the bag and there's quality in the bucket and there's quantity. We're going to do a weigh-in. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a weigh-in. But I'll tell you now, if you were to ask me, can you grow potatoes? in a bucket? The answer is yes. Can you grow potatoes in a fabric bag? The answer is yes. So we'll bag these up and we'll put those in the bucket. I'll go and get the scales and we'll have that way in. I've got to tell you I'm really pleased with this return. Yes I am. Really pleased. These potatoes are clean. Remember, it's only a 10 inch bucket, and that bag was filled with a bucket full of soil from that bucket, so it's exactly the same amount of uh, growing material in each. Right, let me go and get the scales. Okay, let's weigh these potatoes. I think we'll go with the bucket first, shall we? Let's see what the bucket gives us. I will say these are a nice, clean potato. It's quality here, yeah. One for my old mate, if she'd been still with us. Molly. Right. Let me come round your side, see what we've got for the bucket. Well, I'm making that a pound and three quarters. Would you agree? A pound and three quarters of quality potatoes from a small 10 inch water bucket one shop bought potato chitted and grown on. Hey, that's a result, isn't it? You're not kidding, it is. Still haven't managed that two pound this year yet, but hey, that's a result. We're happy with that. Okay, let's do the bag. Is your money on the bucket or on the bag? What's it on? Well, these potatoes coming from the bag, there's a couple of them are significantly bigger than the rest. That might sway it. And again, these are quality potatoes. Right, what have we got from the bag? Oh, come on. Come on, that's nearly two and a half pound. Get in there, Morton. That's my first two pound delivery this year from just one potato. And it was one potato growing in a bag, not growing in a bucket. 
but that's my first two pound. In fact, it's nearly two and a half pound. And what did the bucket have? One and three quarter. Well, there's only one winner here, isn't there? <laughs> there's only one winner here. I think there's a clear winner. What do you think? Let me know. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.